Hey guys, look back here and welcome to another FIFA 20 SBC analysis video and today guys we're going to take a look at the new players SBC. Agbonna from West Ham. How does a West Ham player find his way into the players section on FIFA 20 Ultimate Team. Uh, I am joking to any West Ham fans who are watching this video, um, but it is a bit of an interesting card to put in here because usually like a lot of the cards that we do see in the players sections, of course, any cards that are put into player sections are available between now and the end of FIFA. And as you can see, they're all like 90 rated plus cards like Eden Hazard, Sane, Sergio Ramos. This is no disrespect to Ogbonna because his card already looks absolutely insane with some of his stats. But it, you know, it is interesting to have EA put him here by mistake. Potentially, you know, EA do tend to to make a lot of mistakes nowadays it wouldn't surprise me if this gets moved to the live section and actually is only there for maybe six days or something like that so um honestly it wouldn't surprise me if he would actually end up having a town limits to him but anyway uh, this is due to his flashback celebrating his 2017-18 season um I can't remember if he was in the Syria at that point I think he used to play for Juventus and Fiorentina Maybe. Um, definitely he played for Juve at one point, but I'm guessing this card, I think it was maybe his first season at West Ham. I can't exactly remember, but even so, his card looks insane. I will also be doing a video later on tonight as well, opening hopefully 10 of the 81 rated double plus packs. So hopefully we might have a chance of giving ourselves a full birthday card or something like that. But... Let's get into this Ogbonna card. So three sections to complete his SBC. I mean, his card looks absolutely amazing. But first of all, see what you need to put into his SBC. So first of all, you need an 85 rated score with one Italian player. Another 85 squad with one Premier League player. And finally, an 86 squad with a team of the week or a moments card. Uh, not too bad. A Real Election Players pack in return. That was the pack that I did get that 96 Johan Cruyff in, of course. And then a Prime Mixed Players pack and a small Rare Gold Players pack as well. Tradable packs, fairly decently priced, um, and the fact that if this card does end up staying here between now and then the FIFA, you could potentially wait for that mid-eye compact to go, because this mid-eye compact that's currently available does go in 18 days, which is still quite a long time left in it, but of course, two of the segments to that um, mid-eye compact, as you'll see here, require 85 squads of also a team of the week or a moments card as well. So, it, you know, 85 cards in general have gone up in price a little bit, but potentially 85s, 86s might go down in price already now because of the fact that these two new upgrade packs. I wouldn't recommend doing the 84 to the 91 pack because you need an 83 rated squad for that. Crazy money to be able to do that pack, but doing these ones, I would recommend, and you see my video on that a little bit later on tonight as well, which, um, Hopefully will be pretty good. But anyway, let's have a look at the in-game stats for this Ogbonna card. Six foot three in height, that's great for a centre back. Medium medium work rates. <sighs> not the end of the world. It's not, you know, it's obviously not the most ideal. I would prefer, you know, like a medium high would be fantastic, a low high or something. But medium medium is not too bad, I suppose. Two star skill moves, three star weak foot, doesn't matter for a centre back. I'm uh, not fussed on that whatsoever. His in-game stats. Good card. Very, very good card. Um, I mean, great pace for a centre-back. 93 sprint speed, 7th and acceleration. That's fantastic. Shooting stats don't matter. Passing stats are very, very impressive because passing to a centre-back... We're getting to the stage of FIFA now where centre-backs need to have good passing. You know, obviously, when you buy a centre-back, you look at the two main stats. In my opinion, the two main stats you would look for are defending and pace. And then after that, I'd say passing is almost on a level part of physicality in terms of now how important it is to a centre-back. Because when you've got centre-backs now, you've got so many meta uh, centre-backs in the game. You need to get the ball onto them, make the good passes out of the defence, get them to the midfield and stuff like that. And the fact that he's got 90 short passing and 80 long passing means that once he's made a tackle, he's got that really good range of passing where you can make 40-yard passes towards your attack, play nice through balls out of the, uh, you know, towards your midfield and stuff like that. That's very impressive, his passing stats. That's really, really good to see. Again, is dribbling 95 reactions and 94 composure. That is fantastic to have on a centre back. It's just going to feel pretty nice and smooth for a centre back anyway, without you know decent ball control. The nice dribbling as well. He won't feel like that clunky. Obviously, he won't feel like a Lionel Messi or a um, or or like a, a Raheem Sterling or anything like that. But he's going to feel pretty decent for a centre back, which is obviously very nice. Defensive stats class all round. Uh, three of the stats there in the low 90s. Also, uh, pretty decent defensive awareness and heading accuracy. Physicality is again amazing. Six foot three in height with 95 strength. That's going to be very, very good. The only one downside to this card is his 74 stamina. Now, I don't think that should put. P 
people off doing this SBC. First of all, if you got a Premier League team, a full Premier League team, I'd highly consider doing this SBC. Like, seriously, I think a lot of people, if they are running uh, full Premier League teams, need to have a good, long, hard think whether they should be doing it because um, I, I think he's up there. Although he's only 88 rated, which isn't obviously the highest of centre-back ratings currently at this stage of the game, he's got stats that make him, like put him up there as one of probably the best Premier League centre-backs in the game. Like, honestly, he's got phenomenal stats. And that 74 stamina, whilst it's not ideal, it's not the end of the world. I think, like, using a 70 stamina minimum, like, you know, obviously, if he's under 70 stamina, that would be a massive issue. And obviously, 74 stamina isn't great, but it's not the end of the world. I wouldn't let that put you off doing this SPC because his other stats are absolutely amazing. No traits to the cards. I want to actually go and compare him with a few other centre-backs in the game. I want to compare him with the Paolo Maldini card that you can get from Icon Sops. That's if his card is into the um, is into the concepts yet because I didn't see it go into the concepts before for Ogbonna, but uh, that Maldini you can obviously earn for 13 tokens, I believe. Now, obviously, Maladini has the benefits of being able to link to anyone, but at the same time, um, Ogbonna is such an interesting card, and sadly, he isn't in the in the um, the concepts for some weird reason. Have EA meant to release this SBC? I'm not too sure. It wouldn't surprise me if EA just completely removed the SBC. It seems very weird why they've put that into the players section. I, I don't understand it, to be quite honest. But anyway, Maldini is obviously four ratings higher, has quite a few trait stats um, that Ogbonna doesn't have, has six more stamina, much worse strength, much, much better defending, though, it should be said. Very similar reactions and composure. I think Maldini has got five worse short passing and six worse long passing, I believe. And similar pace. You know what? Ogbonna is not that far behind Maldini. Like, th there's not much between them at all. Obviously, Maldini's got much better defending, but Ogbonna's defending is still very, very good. And actually, Ogbonna is much better in physicality areas, certainly in strength and, uh, and aggression. Very similar in some of the... Well, actually, Ogbonna does have much better dribbling than what Maldini does. He's a more, he's, you know, he's a more quicker centre-back and has actually better passing stats. You could arguably make a case to say that um, that Ogbonna is better than this Maldini card. Now, Maldini does have uh, a better work rate, is slightly less in height, though, as well. But that's very interesting. Like, this Ogbonna card is pretty much, on the whole... A similar player to that Maldini card. That's very, very interesting. I want to actually have a look at a few other centre-backs, though, as well, from um, from the Premier League. Once I put this baby Maldini back into the team, not you. Uh, I want the Maldini in there, please. Thank you very much. So, I obviously want to have a look at some of the centre-backs from the Premier League in general, just in case you guys have already got uh, some decent Prem centre-backs already in your squad. And there obviously are going to be quite a few decent ones you can buy off the market. And so, obviously, the Virgil van Dijk's. Flashback Louise, I want to have a look at him. Uh, he was obviously an SBC card. I can't remember his price at all. Sanchez had an SBC card, didn't he? Um, I want to compare these two cards. I mean, Sanchez has got average passing. Good work, great right? Good height, though. Only six more stamina. So, actually, that stamina, I don't think is that much of a problem at all for that uh, for that Ogbonna card. Similar-ish defensive stats, similar dribbling, similar passing as well. Sanchez is obviously a decent card, and so is David Luiz, to be fair. I mean, David Luiz is probably slightly better than Ogbonna. Well, actually, he's got, um, I think, two less stamina than Ogbonna. And a lot of people say that this card is still really, really good. So, you know what? Looking at it on the whole, I think that Ogbonna card is really, really worth doing. I think he is a... A, a god tier uh, centre back. I think honestly, he's got the stats that just work for centre back. And yeah, I don't think that stamina would actually be that much of an issue. But whether that card is supposed to be in the player section, I'm not exactly too sure. But you don't need to rush into doing it right now. We're in isolation. You can kind of grind towards this game now um, for the next few days. Do some of the upgrade packs. Um, this SBC will cost like over 100k, maybe 150 towards 200k. And you know what? For that price. I'd say he's worth it. And if you can get him even cheaper than that, then happy days. But on the whole, top, top card. And uh, yeah, I think he'd be a, a fantastic card to do. But anyway, guys, I will be back later on tonight with the 81 rated plus packs as well. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. And I'll see you guys later.